discuss the Tramex Concrete Encounter, which is a moisture meter specifically for hard surfaces concrete. What's unique about this meter is it will read through spring-loaded pins from one set of pins to the other. It will penetrate through concrete and hard surface uh, half an inch to three quarters of an inch deep, okay? We call that, and I wrote it up on the board, alternating current is the most common um, used term that we use, but it's actually called electrical impedance. Just something for your uh, notes as far as education. Um, what's neat about this meter is it does read in reference scale and in percentage scale for concrete. So what does that all mean? Whenever we're using a reference scale, if we have, for example, a part of a floor, a basement floor that's wet, and we take a reading and let's say it's saturated at six, okay, which is a percent considered saturated um, in concrete. We go to the other side of the basement where the water did not get to, and we're reading, say, at two and a half. We would use that two and a half as our reference scale. Now, in reference scale, that would be more like 100, and two and a half would be 40 on the reference scale. So we would know that we would have to dry from 100 down to 40 to meet our dry standard, okay? If we were using the reference or the percentage scale and we were at a six, but we would always look at this six and say, okay, most flooring uh, manufacturers recommend that we dry below four or four and a half. If we do not do that, what happens is we apply our new flooring during the reconstruction part of the project and we end up with flooring failures. Uh, fail, failures in the adhesives, in the uh, different mastics and, and so forth. So we want to make sure that we're always drying below four, four and a half um, on the top percentage scale. Um, this meter does have a hold button. It's very, very simple to use. It's got an on and off button and quite simply you walk over, it's spring loaded. As you push the meter down on the floor, the needle will go up to the, the appropriate uh, number. So. If you need to hold that, simply push it down, hit the hold button, and you can walk over to your notes and write down what you need to write down. So as we think about this, so many restoration contractors, when we go on consulting projects, there's so many restoration contractors, we're all trained to dry the two by fours and the uh, porous materials, drywall, et cetera, et cetera. But then we leave after three or four days thinking that that structure is actually dry. Now the recon person comes in to, to put everything back, we refer to it as the put back, as they're putting everything back, if their flooring people are not checking the concrete, they're, they're very likely to have a flooring failure. So as part of our professionalism as draw, structural drying contractors, this should absolutely be a tool in the toolbox. We should be going before we leave and making sure that that concrete has met a dry standard so that we can document that day when we leave that project, that it is physically dry. That way, if their humidity changes after we leave or say the recon doesn't get to it for four weeks or whatever, they lay that flooring and there's a failure, we can come back to our own notes and say, no, wait a minute, that's not from us. When we left, we can definitively show that that floor was dry. Very, very important from a liability standpoint and more importantly as a professional. We want to be professionals and we want to be able to show that we really know how to dry structures all the way, not just what maybe an insurance company would like us to say is dry. We want to make sure it's dry all the way so that when things go back into the structure, it's done correctly and there's much less uh, failures with um, flooring failures. So I'm going to end this today by saying if you do not have a Tramex concrete encounter, it's something you'll want to definitely take a look at. They are not expensive. Um, they're very durable, very easy to use, very easy to train a technician on. So we're doing a close-up so you can see what that meter looks like. Um, here's the back side of it. Very simple to use. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact us directly. My name is Brian Holter. I'm at New Tech. My number is 800-435-5868. Thanks again for watching.